It is Wednesday, the 4th of January, 2023. Happy New Year, everyone. First gig of the new year. Um, for those that have... Well, sorry, I'm performing at Comedy in Your Eye today, which is a new gig. It's something that I've actually had my eye on, pun intended, because I'm a comedian, um, for a while. And it was... It's, it's some shows it's quite difficult to get for some reason. And I think... I'm hoping it's because it's... it's They've got such an influx of quality acts that, you know, they kind of have to know who you are or heard about you or trust that you might be able to deliver something or have a space. I don't know. I'm hoping it will be a good show tonight. We do have a rail strike, so that could affect it. It's in the middle of Camden. Um... So for those that, that do follow the vlog, uh, unfortunately, I did not get to do the Angel Comedy gig on the 27th. Uh, turned up to the Camden Head um, and the show was none, which was an absolute devastation to me. You know, I'd been building up to that for quite a while. Um, so they were kind enough to give me another spot in February. So I've got February and March with them. So they've made good on that. The thing, though, that leaves me in a bit of a stick a uh, bit of a sticky situation because I think one of the things I'm going to have to compete with in terms of I don't know this comedy journey is being patient because I am desperate to move on to a new bit desperate 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 now I haven't had much mental capacity to do anything differently for today and I also want to do my best stuff so I guess currently that is the census bit um which is actually a point of frustration for me because I've thought of some other things I want to progress with. But this month I tend to have a lot of new gigs and some really exciting other ones that go with it as well. I've got a competition, which are many other comedians doing at the CAV. So I'm going to really have to balance out continuing doing the stuff that I know and trying to be consistent and showing these uh, bookers that I can do a good job on a consistent basis while scratching my own itch and doing some new material because... I fucking want to move on quick. And it's it, the thing is, is, I don't even know why I'm in such a rush to move on because it's it, it's never ever that good. But I don't know. Maybe I just don't like the sound of my own voice saying the same things again and again and again, even though I do it on a daily basis. But yeah, I am very much looking forward to this show. And hopefully it is a good one. We'll see what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what, firstly I have to say, man, that is one cool-looking black man. <laughs> well, I hate people like you. <laughs> <laughs> I do, man. <laughs> Fucking make him look bad after you find all these white people. <laughs> uh, most days, like a loud shirt like this would qualify. <laughs> make him look like some fucking diversity mannequin from TK Maxx. <laughs> 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 he looks like some sweet mannequin from some black shop. I don't know the name of clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so does, uh, does anyone know what the census is? Right, yeah? yeah. For those that don't know, the census is a, uh, a nationwide survey that government put out every 10 years on behalf of the Illuminati. Look at that, look at that, fucking round earthers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate, I, I hate the census, right? Because um, I don't understand that people that do surveys are like people that uh, do online reviews of things like cheese. <laughs> fucking trip advice on cemeteries. <laughs> but like, I don't, that's not the reason why I don't like surveys. The reason I don't like the census is because of the options other or prefer not to say. I actually prefer to say. I'm Scorpio, of course I do. <laughs> but there's no option for me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when it comes to kind of where, where the ethnicity section, right? I'm half Kenyan. Quarter Irish, quarter Bangladeshi, which obviously means I smell. No, no, I can be racist about myself, right? I'm sure that's fine, do you know what I mean? So uh, only the Bengali side, do you know what I mean? We are, uh, no, we're not together, okay? That's cool. No, no, um, no, I just, uh, I feel like, I feel like the extra person on Deal or No Deal, right? Because, you know, I've got, I feel like I've got a sudden up to someone else's box being like, you know, I promise there's BAME in there. You know, that's, it's fucking ridiculous. But like, um, the, the census for me reminds me of going on a really bad date, right? Like, imagine it. Like, you know, you're getting ready, 
got a big day coming up. <laughs> Get a bit nervous for dates as we do, you know. So most guys, a quick wank, you know. Let's <laughs> let's just wait. Let's just wait. <laughs> 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 got to know if you actually like them. <laughs> so I see her sitting at the table, you know, and I walk up and I say, oh, census. That's a nice name. <laughs> Is it Greek? <laughs> 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 I'm up in it. <laughs> so then I go and I say my name, you know, tell her where I'm from. And all that happens next is question after question after question. I felt like I was in a police interrogation again. about that life, I'm saying. It's like over this crowd, boy, you guys use swords or something, I'm saying. <laughs> so, you know, look, I like the sound of my own voice, you know what I mean? So I indulge, I'm on impressive, so I'm answering all these questions, I'm going on. And they ask me some really weird ones, like, um, What's your religion? So I was like, Philippe up, obviously. It was <laughs> silly question. <laughs> so I'm indulging, I'm asking all these questions, I'll turn it over, it's fucking more questions. I'm like, okay, fair enough, you know, we're, we're gonna do our thing. I feel like I impress her, so I'm like, alright, let's do the gentlemanly thing. You know, I put an envelope on, I'll take her to the bus stop. <laughs> you know, and I show around my area, you know. That was the first place I got robbed. That was the first kiss, you know what I'm saying? That guy was well old. Uh, no, um, <laughs> silly, silly stuff, you know what I'm saying? I thought about taking her to her mum, but she had my question, you know what I'm saying? She's paranoid. I come from the streets, you know what I mean? That's what happens. So I send her on her way. You know, and I'm thinking, ooh, maybe I'll hear back soon. <laughs> and then you wait. And then you start thinking, like, did I say the wrong thing? Did I overshare? Why am I getting blamed by sex? <laughs> but you know, one thing in life is you've got to learn to move on. Do you know what I mean? You know, I moved on like Philip Schofield's wife when she found out why he wanted to watch Magic Mike so much on that fucking anniversary! It's an instant classic! <laughs> Doesn't matter how much you cry. Um, but I didn't hear back, you know, I moved on, it's cool. Guess what happened? Ten years later. Guess who's sitting at my door? <laughs> that bitch census. <laughs> sitting there like a fucking environmentalist with purple hair. <laughs> but she hadn't changed, she asked me the same questions. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, no, I'm not having none of this, I'll tear that shit up. Get out of my house. A couple weeks later, knock, 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 who's at the door? He knows it's 5-0. Apparently, someone put in a missing report for census and she was last seen at my house! <laughs> Did you believe it? Yes, no, very silly joke. Um, no, I, I, I did a little bit of research for that bit and um, I was wondering like, why they do the census and apparently they put the census on because they want to get a snapshot of today's society. Well, that got me thinking, like, if they wanted that, they might as well just take a snapshot of my asshole. <laughs> right? Because, you know, it actually works reasonably well most of the time, just sometimes it appears to be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a strong chance you're only going to find it clean before the hours of 7 a.m. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. <laughs> I've been fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Woo, I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I was. Just had a really, really good set, you know. Um, a few things interesting about this one for me because I had a couple, I had a realisation that, like I knew that, that um, a lot of the places that I've been gigging have been the ones that I've done quite often because I'm quite lazy and I don't want to move from North London and there's a plethora of shows to do. So, you know, we go into Comedy in UI and it is a full room. Like, it's quite strange that they asked for it to be a bring-in because as far as I'm aware, like, they get a good audience already. But, um... You know, for me, it was like I was trying to decide what to do and I went for the census bit and it was really nice and reassuring to know that it it does work with audiences, um, like real audiences and not just like com comedians and bringers. Because it does, it, I feel like it's been going pretty well for the most part, but it's really, really hard to know. And like I said earlier, I've got a few th kind of big shows coming up with a few competitions. Uh, I've got King Gong with my brother on the 27th, which will be... Uh, a year to the day that we actually did our first gig from our showcase, which is going to be, I don't know, like I, I feel like I've got to do something special for it maybe, but that takes a lot of editing, so I'll probably just do a regular old vlog. But um, nah, man, it was fucking great. You know, 
I remember when I was first doing comedy, I was doing a lot of ad lib bits at the beginning. They were slamming, and it worked today when I was talking about the MC. Um, and that stuff probably hit harder than the actual bit, but that's okay. Like, because I think that I watched it back on the way home, and and yeah, I just I'm just just really over the moon for it. And I found out that my brother passed his heat for uh, um, the the competition that he's doing that I'm going to be doing in a couple of weeks at the Cav, which is a good day for both of us. Um, and there was two people there that was really interesting. The person that runs the night, um, I had met God when I did my 10th or 11th gig. Vlog number seven, which has disappeared uh, because I accidentally deleted it, but that was probably the worst experience I've had up to this point doing comedy. And that was like gig 10 or 11 where this person was just yelling at me. I didn't know how to handle it. And it was in front of uh, an old uni mate and this guy Lawrence who runs Comedy New Iron. And then afterwards I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get in the show. Been applied, never got it. Um, afterwards said hello to him. He clearly forgotten about me, which is great because that's probably why I did book me. And it was nice to, it's always nice to do a good gig in front of people that run uh, shows because hopefully they will um, book you again. Uh, and I just got this other gig for next Saturday at Comedy Freaks. Um, and I've, I was interested because I knew the guy that booked me, like who asked me to do it. I'm pretty certainly thought I was my twin brother. I'm pretty certainly thought I was Matthew. And then, um, yes, I actually, <laughs> he actually, did mistake in me, uh, but it was good to still impress him. He said I did a really good job. You can see him in the background in the picture, kind of laughing. Jamie, what's up? Um, so hopefully he's not too disappointed in the fact that he got the wrong twin brother because um, he says we both care and hopefully we'll put us on, on a night together, which we have not done yet since the showcase. Um, but yeah, just a lot of rambling there, I must admit, so I do apologise. But yeah, great set. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's reassuring that, you know, most of that stuff does work uh, with an actual audience. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I feel good about taking it to some of these comps. And uh, shit, it's going to be a busy month. It's going to be an interesting month. And hopefully you enjoy the ride with me. On to the next one. Yes. <laughs>